Hi, I'm Dr. Molina and I'm an actual diet doctor. I work with patients just like you struggling to lose weight in the real world. I've created this series of web videos to help you design the best possible diet for your lifestyle. Now what if I told you that you could feel full eating fewer calories? Would you be interested? I thought so. In order to do that, you need to understand the concept of energy density. Energy density of food basically relates to the water, fiber, and fat content. And it's really better if I show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at these three plates of food in front, each of them, believe it or not, has about the same number of calories. Shocking? It is kind of, isn't it? The idea is that fruits and vegetables have higher water content so per any given volume they have fewer calories. Medium energy density foods like beans and low fat protein have an average number of calories per volume and high fat foods or high sweet concentrated processed foods have a lot of calories in a little volume. So how can you put energy density to use in your diet? First of all, start most meals with a super salad because these are very low energy dense foods and they're going to fill you up and you're going to feel satisfied when you go to the higher energy dense foods. Just make sure that you don't put a lot of high fat toppings or dressing on the salad. Next, when it comes to fruit, I prefer that you eat the whole fruit and skip the dried fruit and juices which don't have a lot of fiber or the dried fruit doesn't have a lot of water so they tend to be higher in energy density. And last but not least, and this is the most exciting part I think, is add vegetables to anything that you can. So if I were to take this can of chili, which in itself is 520 calories, and add the can of tomatoes, which is only about 80 calories, I combine them into a bowl, and I serve myself a one to two cup serving, I would be cutting my calories almost in half and feeling just as full because research shows that we eat with our eyes, not with our stomachs, unfortunately. So use these concepts of energy density in your regular diet and you'll be able to eat more and lose more. For more information, go to my website, www.drmelina.com.